Well, hi. Just here at home, tying a few knots. It's kind of a good thing to do at home, practicing on your knots in isolation. All you need is yourself and some nimble fingers and a good rope. It seemed like that not that long ago that we could sit down with a pathfinder, shoulder to shoulder, hand to hand, rope to rope, and teach them the knot tying honor. But it seems to me that perhaps we could still teach the knot tying honor with them in isolation. At the end of this video, I've got a few links to some sites that are, have some really good techniques in, in teaching knot tying. There's lots of them out there, but I just put two or three out there. It reminds me of a story when I was a kid learning the braiding honor and braiding similar to knots. Our teacher had put a two by four out and nails every foot or 16 inches apart and we stood side by side and working it, um, with our braid, with our, our lanyard hook on the end and doing a three strand braid. I could not get that braid. If you paid me a hundred dollars, I could not get that braid that day. Simple braid, couldn't get it. All my friends, especially the girl next to me, Wendy Alford, she's just whooping it out. And I looked down there and, and the pressure mounted. The more I saw all my friends making great progress on their braid and mine were all twisted. And Mrs. Cooper, my instructor there, she normally talked really, really loud. What's the matter? Hey, Craig, what's the matter? But she didn't do that today. Praise the Lord. She came up. She saw that I was struggling. And she said, well, we're going to have to undo all of this. Well, great. It's all I need. All the peer pressure, all my friends. And I got to start all over? So she come in and very carefully, very quietly, very unusual for her to be speaking this way. And she taught me the overhand three-strand braid. And she says, you're just going to make sure that they're flat. And you bring the black one over and then the blue one over and then the white one over. And, and, I, and she said this, the black one is like God the Father. And then you bring Jesus over very carefully. And then you make sure that it's flat, tighten it up. And then you bring the Holy Spirit, the white one over. And then you just cinch it. And then you're going to bring the black one over. And she, she's teaching me about the Father, the, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What do you... I had no idea what she was talking about. But she said, and she's continuing on, she goes, when it's all done, this will be perfect and complete, just like the Trinity. And I, of course, I didn't know what she's talking about. But I'm 50-something years old right now, and that's a powerful lesson. I learned about the Trinity, God the Father, God the Son, and, and God the Holy Spirit, in braiding from my instructor my braiding instructor. Seems to me that uh, that's a good lesson to learn from Ecclesiastes 4 verse 9. It says two are better than one. Certainly it was in my case because they have a good reward for their labor. It was my finished and complete, perfect lanyard. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. Verse 12, though one may be overpowered by another, two can withstand him, and a threefold cord is not easily broken. That's so true. Maybe while our pathfinders are in isolation, it's a good time for us to, to make a phone call. Maybe it's a good time for us to see if they have an email, to send an email to them or or FaceTime them or something and encourage them to work on their not tying honor. And maybe you use Ecclesiastes, use something that the Holy Spirit gives to you so that you can drop that little nugget of truth and then turn them loose. And when they're home working on their not tying, they can remember that spiritual lesson while they're doing it. And maybe when they're 50 something years old, if, if we're on this earth, hopefully it comes before then, that they'll remember what you taught them. Very good, man. It's not tying at home is the way to go. Again, at the end of this lesson, we've got uh, some links to some videos. Hopefully they'll be useful for you. We're all in this together. And so I hope this is something that'll help you in, uh, along the lines of your investor, helping the pathfinders earn their investiture achievement levels. 
And so all I can say is this is Pathfinder Strong. See you sometime.